To make this craft, you'll need a marker, a pencil, scissors, glue, clothespin, and paper in yellow or orange, white, and blue. We're going to start with our blue paper and draw just the top of a shark shape along the bottom, small enough to fit on your clothespin. Just the fin and kind of a half circle. I'll go over it again in marker so that you can see what I've done, but you should use a pencil when you start so that you can erase any mistakes you might make. There we go. Now you're going to cut out your shark shape. Next, use the blue paper to cut out the shark's pectoral fin by making a small triangular shape, just like so. Now take your white paper and lay the shape that you cut out of your shark's body on top of that paper. Use your pencil to draw the bottom half of your shark so that it matches the top half, just like this. Then, using your scissors, cut that shape out as well. Now we'll use the white paper to make the eye of our shark. Take your pencil and draw a small circle. Then use your scissors to cut the circle out. This will be the eye of our shark. Now we're going to take some glue and put a tiny dot on the top of the shark's body where the eye will go like so. And we'll take another dab of glue and our pectoral fin and attach that to the bottom half of the shark's body and about the middle of the body. Like this. Once the glue has dried you may take a marker and add the detail of the eyeball to your shark. While the glue is drying on your shark, it's time to draw our fish. Use yellow paper or whatever color you like and draw a tiny little fish. And then use our scissors to cut that shape out as well. You can use a marker to add an eye to your fish. You'll need the blue paper again for this next step. Find the edge of the paper and cut just a tiny strip. Then take your glue and add just a little dot to the top of that strip of paper. We're going to attach our tiny fish to this paper like this. Good. Now we're going to attach our shark to our clothespin. Put some glue along the top edge of your clothespin, like so, and attach the body. And then repeat along the bottom edge of the clothespin or the bottom half of your shark. You'll need to set this aside and wait for the glue to dry before going on to the next step. Now we're going to flip the shark over and find our little fish, like this, and put a little bit of glue right here on the bottom of our clothespin and glue that strip of paper so that the fish is in line with the top of the clothespin. Once that glue has had a chance to dry, you can use your scissors to cut off the excess paper. While the glue is drying, let's talk about sharks. There are 465 different kinds of sharks all over the world, from the smallest, the dwarf lantern shark, which can fit in your hand, to the largest, the whale shark, which is longer than a school bus. Sharks can seem scary, but actually, attacks against people are really rare. What's more likely is that people attack sharks. 
Sharks are caught by fishermen and eaten all over the world. You can watch sharks in their natural habitat by going to explore.org and checking out their shark cam. I see one in this picture. Do you? You can also read books about sharks, or you can have someone read those books to you. Check out these YouTube videos where someone will read you a fiction or nonfiction picture book about sharks. Our shark is almost complete. Just use the marker to add some gill details. Ta-da! You've got a complete shark. And there's his lunch. Oh no! A bigger shark! <laughs>